What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. Today I'm going to try and cram two subjects into one video and uh, hopefully we can get through it all. If we can't, I might have to split the video into two and uh, kind of make two different videos on the two different topics. But today I kind of want to cover the Black Ops 3 style and, and as an extension of that we're going to get into is Black Ops 3 a SMG oriented or an assault rifle oriented game. Every single Call of Duty game has been oriented in a certain way. Uh, the maps point to a certain uh, in a certain direction, the weapons point in a certain direction, and it's generally very clear what kind of game uh, the new Call of Duty is going to be based on a, a number of factors. So today I want to try and conquer that idea and, uh, and figure out what kind of game Black Ops 3 is. And uh, I don't think that it's, it's kind of, it's very close this year. I think it's very, very close between the SMGs and the assault rifles. Even the LMGs are actually very, very good this year, which is kind of strange. Uh, I'm, it's more or less like one or two of them that's very good. But I can see that we're getting into some more diversity when it comes into weapons in general and how powerful they are. I hope we can actually get away from that uh, that certain, like that weapon style specific kind of gameplay in a certain Call of Duty game, it's always everyone's using SMGs or every, everyone's using assault rifles. Well, what about those odd guys that are using the LMGs? What, why can't we have a, a year where the LMGs just completely dominate everything and we can just have an LMG year? Or maybe we can just have a randomized year uh, every single year. That would be the ideal way to have it where everything is kind of balanced equally and everyone kind of uses different stuff and the whole game is balanced. Of course, that's really, really hard to do with all of the different stats on the weapons, all the different weapons themselves, all the attachments. It's impossible to balance a game of this size. And uh, and we as we as gamers, we kind of take that for granted. We kind of say, oh, well, this isn't balanced. That's not balanced. This isn't a good game because of this, whatever. Well, you got to take into consideration that this is very, like the game has been balanced very well since the beginning. I have predicted a couple of um, nerfs that will be coming, especially to the burst fire rifles, which we're going to talk about in a second. But there's quite a few nerfs that I can see on the horizon for this game and uh, maybe even a few buffs to maybe the SMGs but it's generally a very balanced game right, right now I think this is one of the best balanced games from launch uh, best balanced Call of Duty games from launch that we've ever seen so without further ado let's talk about the Black Ops 3 style a little bit uh, before we get into the SMG versus assault rifle kind of duel so what I mean by the Black Ops 3 style is Black Ops 3 follows in the footsteps of its predecessors, and that is not a good thing. This is just like Black Ops 1, it's just like Black Ops 2, it's that weird Call of Duty feel that it just screws with your mind, and it makes you angry to play it. Now, I know that there's a lot of Treyarch fanboys that are going to get mad at me saying that, but what I mean by that, before you get angry, I want to talk about what I mean by the Black Ops 3 style, and even the fanboys have to agree with me on this one. So, generally, what we've seen with Infinity Ward and even the Sledgehammer's title is really melty gameplay. It's like, you don't have a chance to react. It's first person to have the good aim, first person to put their finger on the trigger wins the gunfight. It's like, bam, you're dead. You don't get a chance to react. It's like real life gunfight. You get shot, you're dead. That's what Advanced Warfare and uh, Modern Warfare has been like in the in the past. That's kind of what Ghost was like. But Treyarch Games, Black Ops, Black Ops, I don't know about World at War, but Black Ops in particular, has been a different style ever since they came out. World, or World at War, Black Ops Games have a completely different style where it's not melty like that. You don't just die the second you get hit by bullets. Black Ops 3 is more of a strategic first-person shooter. This is a game where you can get hit by a couple bullets and you still have the chance to escape a gunfight or you still have a chance to turn around and take the gunfight back. And that's kind of what a lot of people, a lot of people like that about Treyarch games and a lot of people find it very, very tedious. I'm one of those people. I don't like that you can, uh, that you can take back a gunfight if someone's if you hit a couple bullets on somebody, they're gonna turn around and still screw you over. I don't like that idea. I think it's I think it's makes for very, very strange gameplay. The number one problem I have with Black Ops games is how randomized the interactions with other enemies are, where or with other players are. Generally, what I mean what I mean by that is sometimes I will shoot at enemies and they will die instantly. 
Other times, I will shoot at enemies with the exact same gun, exact same attachments, exact same everything, even same scenario, same map, same place on the map, and they won't die instantly. I'll shoot them in the same spot, and they'll take a couple shots, and they'll just keep running, or they'll take a couple shots, and they'll turn around and shoot me, and I'll die before they die. And this is a huge problem, I think, when it comes to Call of Duty. I think this should be a, a reaction-based game. It should be more like real life, where if you get hit by a bullet, you're dead. You don't get the chance to run away. And um, I just like it. I like that kind of gameplay better. Maybe that's why I'm a Modern Warfare fanboy. Maybe that's why I've been Modern Warfare from day one. But Black Ops has just... its There's so, something weird about it. It's just very, very strange. And it's kind of like... Sometimes... It's like... You start shooting at an enemy and you hit them like three, four, five times and they don't go down. And it's like you, you get hit by them. It feels like you get hit with one bullet and you die. So I have a huge problem with that. And that's actually going to lend a little hand to what I, what my decision is for is this an SMG or an assault rifle oriented game. So let's talk about that now. The SMGs don't have a lot to offer in this game. We've got, for powerful SMGs, we've got the CUDA, which is kind of hard to handle if you ask me, even though it has a higher damage rate. And the Pharaoh is very, very high damage, and it's a burst rifle, it's, or it's a burst SMG, so there's no surprise there. Burst weapons are generally better. Now, um, when we get, now there's also the Razorback, which I'm using right now. And the Razorback is actually my favorite SMG. It is generally a four-shot kill. This thing, it's got a wicked crazy four-shot kill. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like an SMG AR hybrid, where it's got a very, very long four-shot kill range, and that's really the bread and butter of this weapon. It's just like made for four-shot killing at all ranges. You don't have to worry about hitting that five-shot kill range to a longer range. So that's what this kind, this weapon kind of has to offer. And those are the basically the three most powerful SMGs. The, the other ones, they're, they're faster fire rate, but they're weaker damage. They're just not that great. Now, assault rifles, on the other hand, they've got two burst rifles, which are extremely powerful. We've got the uh, XR2 and the M8A7. Those things wreck you in one or less than one burst. These things are crazy high power, high damage, extremely powerful weapons. We've also got the Man of War, even though I talked about that in, a in another video earlier. Uh, about how it's not as competitive because of its slower fire rate and its, uh, its bad kick. It's got extremely high damage. It's a very, very powerful assault rifle if you know how to use it. We've also got the... Um We've, we've also got the KN-44, and a lot of people uh, kind of take the KN-44 for granted, but it's a very powerful assault rifle. The KN-44 does work. This thing, I've got two-shot kills with this thing before. You can get a two-shot headshot and get a kill with the KN-44. It's extremely powerful. So I don't think you guys need me to explain anymore why I think the assault rifles are owning this game right now. I think the SMGs are, in, are due for an extreme buff. There are a, a lot of the SMGs are very, very weak, and four-shot kills, especially at the, in this game when a KN-44 at close range can get a two-shot kill at you, um, a four-shot kill is just bad. You can't work with a four-shot kill. So about that, uh, with as also in, in map knowledge, the maps are kind of smaller maps. So you would think they'd be SMG-based, but they're smaller with still they have these long lanes to shoot down, so that leans towards assault rifles as well. So obviously my choice for is this an SMG or assault rifle kind of game, it's definitely an assault rifle game. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did give it a like, tell me down below in the comment section what you think uh, the Black Ops 3 is, is it an SMG game or is it an assault rifle game? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more daily gaming goodness and I'll see you guys on the next video.